let's have a look at uh, little monkey apps coordinates. All right, so let's begin with map reading. You've got the choice between coordinates, negative coordinates, and alphanumeric, and then you've got the choice between three maps. Um, I'll pick the road map. So it's asking where is the bank? So of course you need to locate the bank. Bank is on the road A three. Put a little star. Obviously the stars accumulate. What item is it? F four. So it asks both ways. F four the bench. A little bit of reading involved. Um, do you need to do that? Um, so if you change these, you've got coordinates. Obviously the number number. So it's got the ordered pair down here. So where is the fire station? Um, the fire station is at three three. Seven two. Seven two is the bank. All right, so obviously it keeps going. Um, so and map reading again. Okay, we'll pick negative coordinates. Picking the same map, but I'll show you the other maps later. Um, where is the tree? So you notice that this time the coordinates are there in the four quadrants. Where is the tree? Where is the tree? There it is, just there. So that's across, then up, so it's at 3, 2. There are noises, of course, but I've turned the sound off today. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at the other maps. So we've got a park. And we've also got a pirate map. Um, let's have a look quickly at compass directions. So you can choose coordinates or negative coordinates. Let's just choose coordinates for ease sake. So you use the compass to move from 76 to the X at 27. So there's the pirate there, so we need to get to the X. So we can go west, north, west, west, west. And if you pause there, you'll actually see it says west, north, west, west, west. There you go, start. You can move him um, northeast, southeast, etc. And of course, finish the game until you've got there. You can take as long as you want to get there, so etc. Um, and now we'll have a look at Map Maker. Uh, map Maker, um, similar to Map Reading, um, choose what type of um, map you want and what type of grid you want to use. So you must pick this one first. I'm going to pick Alphanumeric. This time I'll pick the park. So you simply move the objects to where you want them. Now you can put them in the water if you really wanted to. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to put them all on. Um, I will put them all on. I'll show you what happens in a moment. And then you press start. So you are, are answering questions about what you have just made. Um, you can of course use this so one child makes it and the next child answers, answers the question. Um, what item is it? K4. K4. It's the tree. There we go. So if we go back in, and I'll pick the same map again, um, if you don't put enough, so this is where I put the, um, that's a sand pit, um, put the sand pit in the lake. If I pick three, it'll give me a little bit of a warning and says you have to put five items onto the grid in order to play or to complete the activities. Um, okay, so that one was map maker. Um, let's have a look at make the shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we might just pick coordinates. All right, so we need to draw the shape. So this is obviously a bit more challenging. Six two across, then up. Six two six 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 six. You have to do them in order. So once you've got it right, it goes green, and the current one that you are solving is yellow. So eight two eight two and six two. All right, so something that I would I would like to do is say, well, how many how many points are there? One, two, three, four, five. So it's a shape. Um, that means it's there's really only four points because those two are the same. Um, what shape do we know has four um, four uh, four edges, four corners? So let's make it so seven three. Four, three, four, six, seven, six, and seven, three. 
with some of your more capable students you uh, might be able to say plot it in your mind um, what shape do you think that will make so I'll just show you what happens uh, if I get something wrong so I'll go do the first one first seven five got it correct six six um, so it's wrong obviously six six Is red so you can't move on until you've actually got it right two four I'm guessing now there you go so some of your students might be able to do that too um, okay so going on from that let's have a look at the teacher tool we'll use coordinate grid oh sorry coordinate grid all right so um, you can put the lines off or on so let's draw a shape. So you might say everyone draw a square. Must obviously draw the points back in. You can swap colours. I'm going to turn that off because I'm going to go like that. Then I'm going to put it on. Because if I go over here now, I'll join that one, which I didn't want. So. So one student could uh, make a shape, the other one could um, say where the corners are to make the shape or another student could give another student directions to make the shape or you could simply use it for, we'll just call it that, um, um, you could make it for um, everyone where is 3-2, right, everyone where is 10-1, um, can everyone make a triangle, we've all got different triangles, what are your corners, everyone make it, you can use it for battleship as well. Um, of course, you can save your picture. Um, okay, yeah, sure, thank you, access my photo. Um, so then you can use it later on um, to answer questions, etc. So let's clear that and go back. Oh, my apologies. You can also um, you can also email it, um, which is useful to use in sample books, etc. Um, there are some notes, teacher notes here about how you might like to use them. Uh, don't forget to have a look at the website and the blog for more ideas. Little Monkey Apps Coordinates.